it's about accessibility. I mean, you use, people have asked me, what do you use um, to teach what technology? And I answer sometimes with just yes, anything. Captioning lecture capture videos, a promising teaching practice. One of the newest teaching tools is video capture services such as Panopto. They allow faculty to easily record their lectures and post them on a web page where students can view them after class. And look at how he, how he says this, all right? So uh, it wasn't unpleasant. It was an intoxication, but it wasn't unpleasant. And stream of fantastic pictures, extraordinary shapes. Panopto allows captions to be added to the recorded lectures. Those captions are a necessity for students with hearing impairments. Kaleidoscopic display of colors. This kaleidoscopic thing comes up often and often, all right? So this is like, wow, this is, this is tremendous. But he didn't know what was going on. Me as a deaf person, I'm missing out probably three-fourths of the information that's out there. So captioning is a big thing for me because that's where I get all the information. Captions benefit all students. I was surprised when I canvassed my students and over 30% said they were using the captioning. And I know that there's, there's not 30% of hearing impaired or need for it. And I asked a couple of students and they said they wanted to see the words as well as hear the words. Other reasons why students like me use Panopto is because when I, he talks really fast in lecture because we have so much material to cover. So when I like miss something, I write like the time and then on my notebook and I go back to the Panopto recordings so that I can listen to it again. And I'm like, oh, that's what he was saying. And then I like understand the whole material better. I do use the Panopto videos, uh, particularly when I'm reviewing material. I like to, as I'm reading through the lecture slides, I like to replay the lecture videos to just reinforce and make sure I'm picking up any supplemental information that he says while he's reading through it. Other key people can benefit from the combination of the visual text along with the audio. Uh, this includes people who are English language learners that would like to hear the word as well as see the word. I don't think most of the, all the students do understand at all the times what the professor is talking. It is sometimes necessary to have captions so that we can actually jot down things by having a visual. Also benefiting from that are students who have some types of learning disabilities that can benefit from this multimodal presentation. And students that want to learn the spelling of a particular word. One is it reinforces what I'm hearing, so I'm seeing it both visually and getting it auditorily. So we're hitting multiple systems at the same time, creating stronger associations. Second is a lot of times uh, I can have difficulty understanding exactly what some people are saying because of like as when you get into technical terms and jargon, they're talking so quickly. It can be very hard to keep track of. So being able to read it as I'm hearing it further reinforces it and also helps me with like grammar and spelling. <laughs> captions can be useful to any student trying to watch the video in a loud room or in a room that's very quiet. I use captions when I'm in the quiet library and I don't want to turn up the volume too loud so I turn on the captions and I can see uh, the words instead of hearing them. Panopto also enables students to do a keyword search to find every instance when a word appears in the lecture and to fast forward to that moment. For instance, you might want to look through those captions, search through the captions, to find a particular part in the video where your instructor presented something that you want to listen to again without listening to the whole video. If you have the captions, now you have a way of searching. You can search the video to find the word you're looking for and then play that little piece of video back. So everybody benefits from captions because they allow for search of video. Video capture services help faculty and students. You just have to try different things. And so as tools come up, you should try them um, to see if in fact that might maybe replace a tool, or maybe hit a population that you weren't hitting before. I mean, as, as a teacher, I have the obligation of reaching those students. 
For more information about IT accessibility, consult uw.edu slash accessibility. This video presentation was created with funding from UW Information Technology at the University of Washington. Copyright 2015, University of Washington. Permission is granted to copy these materials for educational, non-commercial purposes, provided the source is acknowledged.